All right, class, today before we go out there and work, we're just going to review some of the most basic rules of the art of video. Oh, God, here he goes again. Now, the first thing I have to say is I really hate this. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of this from you new students, but some of you returning students, too, is the misuse of our tripods here. Now, I know you guys might be kind of excited when you go out, you want to just start getting shooting, but what I see, it's very amateurish, is you set up your tripods like this. Okay, now who can tell me what's wrong with setting up a tripod like this? Well, the tripod's down. Right, okay, what else? The picture's gonna be upside down. Okay, well look at this. The whole point of a tripod is to keep a steady shot for your camera. Now, if you have to set it upside down like this, it only has one point of contact with the ground, you see? It makes it very unstable. It defeats the purpose of the tripod. Also, you see how uncomfortable it is to try and get your head down to the ground just so you can look through your camera and get the shot. Now there's one other thing that's really important why you can't set up a tripod like this. Anybody? No? It violates the rule of thirds. Oh, not the rule of thirds again! Now really, the rule of thirds is very important. It's probably one of the most key concepts to art of video. So, I noticed you guys haven't been following it lately, and I've prepared another PowerPoint to show you guys. Now, as you can see, the screen is divided into nine sections by two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. And by following this rule, you'll really separate your things from the amateur videos that they have on Google Video or YouTube. All right, now stick with me, guys. We just have a few more things to go over. And if you're good and we finish this up in time, maybe I can tell you guys a story. I hope it's not the same story you told last time. You keep telling the same story, and the bell always rings at the same point of the story. All right, uh, it's just one more thing, really. Um, our computers are getting kind of cluttered up. We're going to need to go into the folders and delete some of the caches. Tell the truth, Mr. Steve Fodder. The only reason we have to clean off the computers is they're crappy Macs. What do you mean, crappy Max? I pimp names, slick Max. Max is so much more intuitive than PCs. I can't believe what you're saying. Yeah, OK. I guess that's why you have to buy an iPod to listen to your iTunes music. There's no right click, and you can't undelete deleted files. All right, well, you know what? It's story time. Yeah. God, not again. OK, fine. I'll cut to the end. The story? I am an alien. That's a lie. No, really. See this clicker? It opens up my alien portal. Uh -huh. That's why I'm always freaking out when Dan steals it from me. That's the most desperate lie I've ever heard in my life. All right, you know what? I'm feeling really unappreciated right now. You're all grounded for a week. I'm out of here. Oh my god. Everybody, Mr. Steve Potter's an alien!